Whoa. I found it. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel for another video. As you can see, one, the lighting looks really weird. I'm sorry, but as you can see, I'm outside, I'm not in my room. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to keep this intro as short as possible. Today I'm gonna be exploring an abandoned church. Hopefully no one here speaks English and understands what I'm saying so they know what I'm up to. Right behind me, that's someone's house, but over there is an abandoned church and I'm really excited. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more exploring abandoned places in general on my channel, then give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And this is gonna be some kind of adventure. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I don't know what's gonna happen. I tried to find so much research on this place, but I literally couldn't find anything nothing i couldn't find a single detail about this place all i know is that it's a church and it's abandoned in the middle of a small town that's all i could find if there's any more then i'll insert that now otherwise let's just get into the video just walking through the grass looking casual um yeah so as you guys can see maybe it's too bright but there's the church i'm really excited it's actually bigger than you might think I just need to find a way in. Can you still hear me? Probably not. Oh, there's a car stopping. Right there. There's a part of the building, I'm guessing, and over there's the church. Okay, I need to go the other way. That guy, he's watching me. Wonderful. I don't speak the language, I'm sorry. Just pictures. Sorry. <laughs> So that guy spoke French to me. I think he was asking if I was taking pictures and I told him I don't speak the language but I'm just taking pictures and I got him on film. <laughs> Anyways, we're going the other way around. Yeah, there's no entrance over there and there's a guy watching me. I'm thinking of going this way but I'm not too sure. As you guys can see, there's the church and it's really hard to get to and this wall is a lot higher than I thought. I'm pretending to be a photographer and take pictures. I could use that rock pile to climb on, jump over, and duck. We're gonna try it. I will meet you guys in a second. There's a lot of bugs in here. Gross. I made it. Only to find out. This is the wrong way. I think the only entrance is literally the front door, so. Take this as a lesson, children. Don't urban explore by yourself. Oh, wait. Here's a little drop-down area. That isn't poison ivy. I hope I don't touch any with my bare skin. Whoa. I found it. This is so cool. I am shaking, guys. There's a letter. I'm gonna have to go under. Okay, we'll be back. So I made it under. Something touched my back and it hurts and it's really itchy. So that's cool. We're gonna... Oh my God, watch it be locked, guys. There's the front. I don't know what that means. God. There's that. Hold on. God, I'm really upset. This place was supposed to be so cool. Oh my god, guys. It's alarmed. Uh, okay. So, I think this place is a fail. Great. All that touching poison ivy and crawling under fences and getting hurt and stuff for nothing But since it is a fail, I'll show you the outside because it looks pretty cool I'm gonna put the camera away because I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here before I get caught even though I'm actually very well hidden Like I'm really sad that this place was a buzz. I was really looking forward to exploring this. I have stuff all over my legs Do you see that? I'm really sorry guys that this was a fail. I'll just show you the outside. I hope you don't mind. Ugh, I'm really sorry. There is an alarm though, so I need to hurry and get out of here. Before I go on and get caught, here's what the side looks like. There's where I just was. I think I touched poison ivy. Great. There's the building. I really wanted to get inside. Like, look how Oh, you know what? I need a thumbnail before we go. I wonder if there is another way in. I think it's good enough. God, this place looks so cool too. Wow. Okay, we're gonna attempt. Don't know if you guys can see, but right there, right there is the gate to get out. 
on a busy road, so cool. So as I was editing this, I forgot one to completely end the video. I also remember that there were some things that I wanted to add into the video. Hope you don't mind. First of all, I never found any more information on this church. Completely abandoned. I don't know why. By the way, I did not touch poison ivy. I'm just being over dramatic. I think I rubbed up against something that my skin did not like coming in contact with. So that's why it was really itchy because it was stinging the entire way home and it was really irritating and ugh. I also wanted to say that even though I didn't get the chance to go inside, I still got the opportunity to try some urban exploring. So I passed through fences, I climbed up on a wall, I was crawling under fences, and I was going through freakishly tall grass things whatever they're called I, I don't know so even though I didn't get the chance to go inside it was still such an exhilarating moment for me because I'd never really done something like that for me was pushing so far out of my comfort zone like unbelievably far out of my comfort zone it was an incredible experience so even though I didn't go inside and didn't get really cool footage like I really wanted I still got the chance to know what it was like to go urban exploring what it's like to break the law I guess Did I not put that on the internet oh, I'm sorry I don't know if you guys could hear it in my voice as I'm editing I can hear that I keep like panting and gasping for air that's because my heart is pumping so hard because of where I was I was completely out of breath because of how much my adrenaline was rushing it was a crazy experience honestly if you ever have the opportunity to go to an abandoned church like this to go the, on the inside or just see the outside and go under some fences and like I totally recommend it because it's like some other worldly experience feeling whatever that you cannot recreate it was such an amazing experience as terrifying scary and probably dangerous as it was it was still such an amazing experience to do this this is my first time actually exploring an abandoned place not fully I'm sorry next time I promise I'll get something better that I can actually get into so at the part on the inside of the fence the second fence I should say when I was right by the front door I didn't try to kick the door open I tried to turn the knob and pushing it open it wouldn't budge although the door were loose so I'm sure if I had pushed hard enough I could have broken my way through but there was also an alarm so I don't think that would have been good in the long run I probably would have just been able to open the door see inside and then get the heck out of there I'm really sorry this one was a fail I had so much fun coming anyways my parents not so much and my dad kept complaining about the whole thing. He thought he was gonna go and live me and I knew he wouldn't because he's not the kind of person to crawl behind fences and under fences and jump on walls and that kind of stuff. I mean, neither am I, but I did it for the sake of this video and it was such a cool experience. I have been doing so much research on abandoned places, so hopefully, hopefully in the near future, I can go to some really cool places. I already have one on my bucket list that I really want to go explore. It's so, so cool. Not gonna give any details yet. There's actually two places that I really Really want to go. I just want to put in this disclaimer real quick. Yeah, that was my experience. Didn't catch anything creepy. That guy, oh, I should, I forgot to mention, the guy in the orange car that you saw at the beginning of this video, who asked me something in French about taking pictures, he did drive by again when I went back over, like, how do I explain it? I went all the way around, and then I stopped and turned around and came back, and that was when he talked to me, but I kept going after we were done with our conversation thing I was talking to my mom about it and he drove by staring at me and the car and then I think he turned and went straight but he drove away and then at the end when I was done exploring he came back the same direction so that only tells me he drove out and then around and then came back so in my head I think he was looking for me because he thought I was trying to break into the church because if you don't know abandoned places in Europe are very what's the word very protected by the locals because they're very beautiful structures and I don't know how to explain it, but the Europeans really love their history and they really love their abandoned places, abandoned buildings. There are some places in Europe that locals do not want anyone going to because they want to keep it protected, but keep it abandoned. One example is in Italy, there's an abandoned mansion. You can't go to it, but the locals take good care of it and they love it and they appreciate it and it's just a part of their history. So you can go and explore it, but obviously the floors are falling apart. 
I don't know. I can't blabbering on and on and I'm really sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys like this. If you want to see more attempts at exploring abandoned places or you want me to actually try and find more places and actually go inside, then thumbs up this video and comment below where I should go if you have any suggestions in Europe, anywhere in Europe, because that's where I live. By the way, happy Friday the 13th. Oh, also, I forgot to say, I went to this place yesterday, Thursday the 12th, because I wanted this video to go up on Friday the 13th. I wanted to go to a different place, but that one was a little bit farther and I don't want to go to that one alone because it's so massive. So we went to the church instead, it was a fail, but I wanted something cool and different for Friday the 13th. So anyways, happy Friday the 13th. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more abandoned exploration. Comment below suggestions on where I should go if you know of any places. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.